Well, <clears throat> good morning. Oh, shoot. I was looking for the remote to turn the TV down, but I guess I have to not worry about it, and hopefully this uh, they'll accept this video. But um, I'm Valerie Granville, and my channel is called This Is How I Do It. Well, I did me a wash and go this morning. I washed my hair twice with uh, Tresemme Naturals conditioner, and uh, that's with warm water. Rinsed it out, and then I washed again with cold water. And then I just held my head up under the water, rinsed some of it out, left some of it in, and then I got some olive oil and sealed my hair with the olive oil. The reason I washed with the warm water was to open the pores, and then the last wash with the cold water was to close the pores back up. And then I sealed it with olive oil. You don't have to use olive oil, but I like to use the olive oil to seal in the moisture. Now, as of now, I'm going to get some edge control, and I'm going to lay down my edges. Edge control is sort of like a wax, and I'm going to lay my edges down with that. And I'm using the mirror on the side of my table to um to see how my hair is laying down. I don't have to strain and look into the laptop because it's a magnifying mirror, and it's like I can see every aspect of what my hair is doing. And the wax goes goes on clear and shiny. It's shiny because of the wax. I think you lose that shine throughout the day, though. But the hair still lays down. And if you're just starting out with the um, the wax, you may want to um, carry some in your purse just in case your edges begin to lift up while you're in public. That's if your hair doesn't have the uh, tendency to, to lay down. It's laying there and that wax kind of got it so it'll be a little hard to move and I don't want to put a brush on it because I don't use combs and combs and brushes. I do sort of like the curly girl method. Just use conditioner and gel to set your curls. And you use a sulfate free and silicone free conditioner to do that when you wash your hair. And I'm going to use the uh, Eco Styler Gel today. I'm going to do use the black gel. Actually, you can use whatever gel you like. It's just that uh, it should be an alcohol-free gel. And because this is our old standby when we was uh, young and in school, we used the black gel before we found out about the Curly Girl method or that we can even curl our hair. When we would comb our hair back and use a brush, and put that gel on our hair and brushed it back to slick it down. This is the gel we used in my neighborhood. And then we would put that gel on our baby hair to try to make it lay down. Well, when you did our ponytails and tried to get it to slick down, this is what we used. So I'm going to use this black gel on my hair today. I'm going to start from the back and work my way up. This is the way I normally do it. I get a little section like this and comb the gel through it. Comb and smooth, comb and smooth. This is a, a fresh showered head, so it's not going to adhere to the hair as if it would do like the second day hair or, or third day hair. 
but it's gonna it's gonna do the job. When people tell us, no, it's just gonna take a little more effort to do it. America See, have any in its this is the black jail. I'm just gonna go and put it on the hair and then work it through. Put in the jail on quickly, then I can go back and uh, do my smoothing.
You know, I think this looks so good with my hair going back. I may just do a back do. Wouldn't hurt nothing with it. I just want to rub this gel in a little bit more because it's, it's sitting on my hair since this is a fresh wash and go. I just want to smooth it in a little bit better. But y'all get the gist on what to do. Wash your hair with conditioner. Open the pores twice with the warm water or as many times as you like. You may just like to sit up under there and let it relax and let the water run over you. Some people like that. Some people like to wash their hair more than more than two times. You can do that if you like. But it's just that that last wash, you know, you pull your head up under the water, let the cold water run over it to seal in the moisture. And, um, you know, the close, well, not really just seal it in the moisture. You close the follicles of your hair so the moisture will get trapped in your hair. And then once you do that, you put some olive oil or I guess, I guess it could be an oil of your preference but I was told olive oil so I use olive oil to uh, to seal in that moisture and once I seal in that moisture I get a gel of my preference without alcohol in it and I set the curls in my hair and you can store with regular hair hair with no curls in it you never had any curls in your whole life and then you may come out with some results like this all you had was hair that never curled not even when you was a little girl probably the only time you had curly hair was when you was a baby and you can come out with hair like this now right now these aren't the best curls in the world but they are far cry from where I started and the softer your hair gets with the moisture and the more you um, condition your hair the, m the more hydration comes into your hair so that's the whole thing about this when you um, condition your hair and wash it like maybe even a daily wash and go and after a few weeks sometimes it takes one or two weeks and then your hair get full hydrated and sometimes it takes six weeks before your hair get full hydrated and then you end up, it start end up curling, and then your natural curl pattern will start coming through more and more. And what you see now is my natural curl pattern. And it look, it looks, uh, it then shrunk some because this is a fresh wash. Some days it looks longer. Especially if it's a uh, one or two day hair. Try to split that up because that looks too made up. Trying to split that um, hair up right there. So it look more natural with the way the curls fall. You probably can't see, but um, I'm trying to make sure all the gel has been smoothed into the hair. And I'm keeping an eye on the time. It's like 14 minutes and 10 seconds. And regular, regular ticking. Don't use combs or brushes. It's believed to uh, change the curl pattern of your natural hair. If you really think about it, if you brush it, you're smoothing out your curls. And you're training them to go where you want them to go. Like you see how I pull my hair back with my hands? And I didn't, I didn't really uh, 
stroke it with a brush or a comb to do that. We use our fingers to comb our hair. If you want the results that I have, this is this is the method that I use. And I don't know if you can see how well the curls are coming in or not. I don't know if it's if it's my camera or what. But I when I when I see my hair on this and then I look at other films or other ladies' hair and their camera has such uh, great quality. And then my hair looked like theirs, but it really doesn't show show it to me on this that my hair looking as deep curled or like theirs do. You know, but um, it is. And this curly girl method does work. If you never tried it, it, it's really worth trying. If you went natural and you ain't really just went natural because of curls, you just went natural because you got tired of a perm and you just let your hair grow the way it grow and um, you may strain your hair in your natural state or just keep it braided up in micro braids or whatever or braid weave into it to get it to grow. Well, your hair is natural and it's long and natural because that's what you've done. Well, try this curly girl method and you'll have, you may have those long wavy curls coming out here because you already grew your hair out. It's worth trying. I'm trying to find a new way to start doing my hair. My hair is at that awkward length, awkward length that um, it's not a TWA, quite a TWA, but then it's it's starting to get some length to it. Let me show you. See, it's not a TWA anymore, but yet still it's not hanging long like that because of the shrink shrinkage. So I'm still trying to find the perfect style for me. See, when I was little. My hair went this long, was this long, and it went long enough where I could, I could put it, put the tip of it in my mouth. It's almost there now. It never grew longer than that. So when I say my hair when I was little, my hair was long and, and thick. To me, that was long when I was growing up. I could put the tip of my hair in my mouth, just the very tip. And my bangs went past my nose. Well, it's, it's right here now. But well, my bangs probably went about right there. That's the longest that my hair was. And my back is probably already there now. So that's what we that's what we call long when I was growing up. My hair went all down my back, down my waist or nothing like that. It's just a that's the way our hair grew. And I was considered the girl with long hair. Yeah. So you can imagine the the other other hair girls hair okay and now that I've been watching these videos and I see girls that have got their hair past their breasts they be showing it like that in three years and and down here and and right here and all down here I'm like golly I ain't never been that long but and it's going back to it was when I was a little girl because I, I used chemicals and wigs and weeds and stuff like that that took my hair out and I thought it had stunted my growth but it didn't but I'll talk to y'all later 
Let y'all get another look at this hair. Hopefully you can see the curls of in it. Hey, Valerie, why are you shaking your hair? It kind of clumps the curls and um, get them all clumped together so you have that natural curl pattern. I did it in the shower, but then by me putting the gel in it, it just uh, took all that away. And then plus, I want to see how my hair fall since I shook it. As a president, he is a man who understands his place in history, refuses to vilify his opponents, knows that his individual success is a result of collective work of family and staff and volunteers, has an agenda, but will always pursue that agenda within the constraints of a democratic process that honors diverse perspectives. Now, this commitment to process means that the left will soon be irritated that he is not brave enough. And the right will soon seek to exploit his commitment to process by using the institutions that they control to block his way. But even with those looming likelihoods, the president has a response. The role of citizens in our democracy does not end with your vote. America's never been about what can be done for us, it's about what can be done by us together. Oh, I was looking in the mirror above the laptop to see how that was falling. Well, y'all, I'm going to uh, get off of this. I ain't going to labor you anymore. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.